You know, you would be hard pressed to find a more accomplished and well known voice actress than Tara Strong. Whether it be Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, Barbara Gordon in Batman, my personal favorite, Kira from Jack and Daxter, for pretty obvious reasons, she has been in anything and everything under the sun. I mean, think of an animated project, you know, movie, TV show, or video game from between 1994 to now, she's probably had a hand in it. Why is that? Because she's a professional. That is more than I can say for the individuals that fired her for, get this, being Jewish. Yes, welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol, and that's what we're going to talk about today. How one of the most prolific voice actors in the biz, and of the biz for the last 30 years or so, got fired for her race, ethnicity, religion, whatever you want to call it, in this recent article. But before we get into it, please do subscribe. I am trying to make it to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and with us being just short of 400 there, I think it's pretty doable. So we're going to get some nerdy news every day if you hit that button, and I know you're living for it. But enough of that, on to the article. Veteran voice actress fired from animated show over Israel Hamas posts. Just found out on Twitter, Boxtown's X account stated Strong's controversial posts were behind the decision to recast the role. Now, this is Tara Strong. Uh, again, she's, she's, she's a gorgeous woman. I mean, she's starting to look her age a little bit, Tara, if you see this, I apologize. You're still, you're still beautiful. You're still gorgeous. And she is uh, responsible for so many voices. I mean, Teen Titans, Futurama, My Little Pony, the list goes on and on. She has... Quite literally, I believe, over a thousand accreditations to her name. I could be wrong, but it's definitely in the ballpark. I'm not kidding when I say she's prolific. Voice actress Tara Strong has been dropped from her role in the independent animated series Boxtown after her social media activity about the Israel-Hamas conflict. Just found out on Twitter, she wrote, as a firing on X, formerly Twitter, on Friday, this is what happens when you help fans get shows made, I guess. Fired for being Jewish. Glad I helped you get your Kickstarter money. Please lose my email address and pray for my family in Israel and Gaza. Hashtag pray for for peace. Now, this is the part of the story that I really want to focus on. She didn't have to do this. Uh, she did not have to help independent creators or independent individuals, you know, kickstart projects. You know, of course, it does help her. She's going to star or was going to star in the project, but this is Tara Strong. She could be offered any role for any female character, big or small, old or young, whatnot, and she's going to get the part on her name alone, on her clout. Yes, I'm sure she goes auditions and whatnot because, you know, you still do no matter how well respected you are in the voice acting community, but the fact of the matter is, she put herself out there to help a small independent creator fund what could likely be their dream project, and this is how she's repaid, by someone putting politics over who they are as a person. She did not care. The individual behind Boxtown didn't care that Tara Strong didn't need to help her, didn't need to help get the word out to fund this project, but did it because she likely believed in the project and wanted to see indie creators thrive in the world that we're in today, because indie is the future. But... Because she happens to be Jewish and she understands, you know, that terrorists kind of bombed the shit out of her people, uh, she is now fired from that role. And now, going forward, do you think she's ever going to want to help some independent individual again? Do you think she's going to want to stick her neck out there? Because, nah, if she's going to be able to get burned like this, she doesn't need to help the independent artist. She's got enough roles. She probably has a fair amount of money, if I had to guess, and she probably can have more you know, professional, non-independent roles roll in day by day whenever she does need some cash. So now, if she never helps another indie artist again, it's because of you. It's because of the individual behind Boxtown that fired her without telling her, by the way, just made a post on X saying, we're going to be recasting this role. We'll give you more info in the future. And that is is how Tara Strong found out. I know some of y'all watching probably broken up with an ex before via text message. That's a scummy thing to do. Do it in person like an adult. But if you're gonna break up with him through a text, that's still better than announcing to the world that she is fired before telling her yourself privately and letting her find out that way. There's very few things you can do to an artist, an actress, whatnot, that are worse than that when it comes to the internet, in my opinion. Strong, 50, okay, you don't need to say the woman's age, although for 50, yeah, never mind, I, I kind of take back what I said earlier, you're looking pretty damn good, Tara. Uh, you, yeah, you don't need to put a woman's age like that out that Fox, I'm, I'm just saying. Strong, 50, who voiced characters on several Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon classics like the Powerpuff Girls, Rugrats, Teen Titans, and more, authored the post in response to another one of the show's account announcing the role would be recast. Hello, all, just wanted to offer a quick update on Boxtown. We'll be recasting the role of Bill... 
previously played by Tara Strong. We'll have more info soon as, uh, in, on open auditions. Thanks for y'all's understanding as we reorient and figure out the next steps, the post read in full. Some posters raged in the comments, echoing Strong's claims that she was fired for being Jewish, including one who added, I've seen this before. Yes, yes we have. We've absolutely seen this before. Um, I'm trying to remember the instance off the top of my head. I, I covered it in a previous video. Uh, it'll come back to me. Either way, we've seen individuals be an announced that they were, you know, find out that they were fired on Twitter, basically. I think it happened to some sports uh, sportscaster now, so like on ESPN or whatnot. The ESPN put out a post stating they're going to be going a different direction, and that was like how the sportscaster found out. And if, if I'm, I'm, you know, crossing some wires, the point is, we've seen stuff like this happen before. And I remember seeing this original post, and my only question was, what the hell was Boxtown? You know, th this news is blown up. There's already been some videos on it, but I wanted to cover it because I'm a massive Terra Strong fan. As somebody who's grown up going to comic book and anime conventions since I was about six years old, having a dad that was a nerd, my dad would take me to these conventions, and I still go to them to this day. I've gotten the pleasure of meeting Terra Strong. She's a wonderful human being, and frankly, she probably doesn't like 90% of my, my politics. She probably doesn't like 90% of my thoughts or whatnot, but you know what? That doesn't bother me, because I can set people's, you know, political feelings aside and appreciate their work, separate the art from the artist, and Tara Strong was instrumental in not just my childhood, but I'm pretty sure the vast majority of the childhoods of the people watching this video, considering I can look at my YouTube analytics and see that my average viewer range is 18 to 34. Well, that means you guys are in the same age range as me, being about 30 years old, and I'm sure Tara was instrumental in your childhood as well. So when you see someone like this, when you see somebody who, you know, you maybe not idolized growing up, but somebody who has had a profound impact on your life, whether you realize it or not, go through something like this, and all for really ridiculous political reasons, such as, you know, being Jewish and not wanting to see her kinfolk have the shit bombed out of them, I, I would just like to reiterate that point, by terrorists, I'd really like to reiterate that point, then yeah, it gets a little crazy. You start to really see the individuals behind the scenes in Hollywood, in Tinseltown. Like, yeah, I get it. A lot of us are tired of seeing forced diversity and forced representation, forced gay characters, forced trans characters, all that in our TV shows, because it's very obvious that it's, it's forced. It's pandering. It's not there for any artistic purpose. Most of the artists wouldn't have put it in there if it weren't for the fact that they know it'll get their shows green light if they add that forced diversity. However, you see somebody who you know, speaks out on probably 90% of the same uh, side of the issues as them, but slightly dippers on this one issue, and they're out. It's eye-opening for even the most blind how the industry really works when something like this happens. The show replied with a tweet noting other voice actors and writers on the show are Jewish, but another commenter quickly fired back, arguing Strong was fired for being Jewish and not remaining silent. And there's the key word. Hey, you look, you're allowed to be Jewish. You're allowed to, ha you know, you're allowed to praise your God and not believe that, you know, Jesus has come back to earth or anything as long as you shut the hell up about the fact that there's some people over there that, you know, worship the same God but a different uh, you know, prophet that are bombing the hell out of your people, you know, your friends, your family, individuals that probably still live in Israel if we had to go based on her tweet. You don't want to talk about that. You can't talk about that on social media. You can't, you know, pray for your, your individuals, your people. You can't pray for peace, as she put, hashtag pray for peace. You know, Tara Strong always had a very strong sense of humor. You know, she's made some very provocative jokes on, on X, or, you know, formerly Twitter, as, as these news articles would say, and she's never been in trouble before because so what if she has the humor of a 10-year-old? I mean, she's had some pretty, pretty dumb, funny tweets that, like, only someone who's 12 years old in 6th grade would laugh at. Like, little fart joke level humor. And you know what? If that's the thing that she laughs at, no big deal. But but this, she's being attacked over this because she won't be silent. Because she actually wanted to, you know, talk about something more important than fart jokes. You know, as opposed to her other tweets that are about, you know, like, candles and a uh, My Little Pony uh, cake, you know, being right where the asshole would be. It's absolutely mind-blowing that everyone's okay with stuff like that, but the moment she wants to have a serious conversation about her people and her heritage and what's happening to them, she gets fired. You can't say this uh, they didn't fire her because she was Jewish. Maybe you can say that, but you'd be lying. It's because she's Jewish and who she supports, what side she's taken. Even though that's the side that the vast majority of people, even your liberal president liberal, president, have taken. It really makes no sense. That's how far gone Tinseltown is. They are so far to the left that even Joe Biden's like, I'm, I'm right of these guys. I'm, I'm, fuck them. 
Further along in the thread, Strong replied to those blasting her as Islamophobic, writing, I'm speaking about the terrorist organization Hamas. We should all be against them. Which is a pretty fair statement, in my opinion. She's not out here being like, let's kill all the brown people that worship Muhammad. They all gotta go, and let's just bomb the shit out of every mosque in the world. That'll teach them. She's not out here saying shit like that. She's not out here writing tweets. I wish I was bubbles in real life. I'd use my laser beam eyes to fry every Muslim I see. That's not how terrorists strong as talking but she's being treated as such and it's bananas this decision was due to a trend among Tara's recent online activity, including posts that promote controversial messages regarding the peoples of Palestine currently being affected by the ongoing Israel-Palestine crisis. We believe our public platform gives us a duty to be careful when it comes to hateful messages and misinformation online. Show me the misinformation. Sh show me the hateful messages that Tara Strong put out. I would love for you to put that in to show us. You don't. You can't, because none exists. This extends to our cast and crew. This was not a difficult decision. Yeah, uh, they're going so far, they're just doubling down. It wasn't a difficult decision. Oh, it wasn't a difficult decision to take the woman who gave you your career. Because you would not have got this funded without Tara Strong's help. You absolutely would not have. No one would have given a damn about what Boxtown was if not for one of the most prolific voice actresses in the industry being attached to it and shouting it out and helping get the funding. You, you don't care that you took her and rubbed her face in the dirt publicly now that you've already got your money, now that you've already got your funding, now that you've already got your show a effectively made or at least started to the point where you'll be able to continue without her. No wonder it wasn't difficult for you, but I bet it would have been difficult in the beginning before you had your money. That's when it probably would have been a little bit tough. Our hearts are with the Palestinian and Israeli children and families being affected by the ongoing conflict. People should be able to live freely without being threatened by constant abuse and terror. We are hoping for the best, the post, the post continued. When did Tara Strong call for anything bad to happen? I'm still waiting for that. Fox News Digital reached out to Boxtown's creator for an additional comment, but they did not uh, receive a response at the time of publication, and they're not going to. You really think that, 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 that someone who would fire a woman for being Jewish is going to talk to Fox News? They probably think that you guys are the ones that instigated the, the retaliato retaliatory bombings. Your Fox News just called up Israel and was like, Fucking go for it! The veteran voice actress previously wrote several posts voicing support for the innocent and blasting atrocities committed by Hamas terrorists since they launched surprise attacks on the residential areas in Israel on October 7th. For those who support the actions of Hamas, notice that she puts Hamas, not, you know, Palestine, not Muslims, like, when they infiltrate your hometown on your soil, break into Jewish homes, raping, beheading innocent babies, will you applaud them? Will you wave your flag while they slaughter Christians and Muslims? See, she even says they'll slaughter other Muslims, so it's not like she's calling out all brown people and all Muslim religion followers who don't believe their ideologies want a Strong's post spread. Another said, World's gone crazy. People are arguing online about whether or not the mass raping, shooting, and kidnapping of innocent young women from around the world at a music festival is justified. Could happen at any music festival. Supporting terrorists empowers them, and that's globally terrifying. I don't see a lie. Strong also sparked controversy by commenting on and retweeting posts concerning Hamas terror. According to a screenshot shared on X, she previously liked a post equating Muslims and Hamas with ISIS and branding Islam as real, clear, and present danger, but has since unliked the tweet and said that she had not read the entire post carefully before hitting the like button. I can believe that. That happens all the damn time. That has happened to people. Mark Wal or Mark Wahlberg, uh, Mark Hamill did it. He liked a JK Rowling post and then the world threw a fit at Mark Campbell and he just bounced out. I'm sorry I didn't read the whole thing I thought she was talking about being empowering to everyone not just women because trans people aren't people like yeah Mark Mark well Hamill had to get on his knees and grovel for an apology from sweaty liberal Star Wars nerds everywhere because he accidentally dared like a tweet from she who must not be named so for those of you that, you know, we're going to watch Boxtown, all one of you that ends up seeing this uh, video, because I'm sure none of the rest of you had even heard of it before this, uh, you don't, I guess, or go for it. I mean, I can't tell you what to do. It's your life. I'm, I'm pro-freedom. Watch whatever you want. But at least now you have the context and the information behind the individuals running this show and what they do to people for, you know, just, just being Jewish. Uh, those are my thoughts on the matter, but I want to hear yours. So let me know down in the comments below, or let me know on X, where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And again, please do subscribe. I'm trying to get to that 2,000 subscriber mark before the end of the year, and we are getting so incredibly close, less than 400 away. Hit that button, I truly appreciate it, and I'll bring you all the nerdy news almost every day, sometimes multiple times a day, whether it be about anime, video games, movies, you name it, it's all here in the Nerdosphere, and this has been Words of Paradise.